Hi everyone, in this video I will be cloning an entire drive to another drive. I'll be cloning a 500 gigabyte drive to a 1 terabyte drive using the free and open source software RescueZilla. You can clone a smaller drive to a larger drive like what I'll be doing or a same size drive to another same size drive like 500 to 500. Now if you want to do a larger drive to a smaller drive, like a 500 gig drive to a 250 gig drive, then there's a little bit more work to do, but it can be done. And you can click on the link above for that video. So I'm going to open up disk management. And I have disk zero, it's my 500 gigabyte drive. Disk one is my one terabyte drive. And here is my four gigabyte USB drive where I'll be putting RescueZilla on. So I'm going to go download it. I'm going to go to rescuezilla.com and then go on to download and then download the ISO and then next I'm going to download Rufus. I'm going to go to rufus.ie and so I can create a bootable USB drive with Rescuezilla. I'm going to scroll down, download Rufus Portable and then once download, go into my downloads folder, open up Rufus. Yes. Yes, check for updates. And then select your USB drive and then select the ISO, RescueZilla. My system is using UEFI, so I'm going to change this to GPT and leave the rest as default and hit start. OK. And we get a window here saying another program or process is accessing the drive because I have disk management open and just hit yes. And it's giving a warning. OK. OK, it has completed. Close. And now I'm going to restart my computer and go into the BIOS. Hit delete. Go my BIOS. Security. And then going to secure boot. And then secure boot enabled. And going to change it to disabled. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to go into my boot options and ensure my USB drive is selected. And then save changes and reset. All right, it has booted the USB drive and we see the RescueZilla language selection. I'm going to select English, start RescueZilla. All right, and I got the welcome screen and select clone. Hit next. And it's asking to select this source drive. So that's my 500 gig drive, drive one. Hit next. And here it's selecting the destination drive. So that's going to be drive number two for me. That's the one terabyte drive. Hit next. And it's asking which partitions to clone. So in my case, I'm cloning the entire drive. So that's going to be all partitions. So I'm going to leave everything as is. All partitions and I'm going to hit next and here it's asking to confirm so the source drive is drive number one which is dev SDA and then destination drive is number two which is the one terabyte drive and it's going to be cloning all the partitions and it'll be overriding the partition table and then hit next and it just gives a warning are you sure you want to clone the drive to SDB my one terabyte drive so yes And so it's going to clone the drive and it may take a bit of time depending on how fast your computer is and how much data you have to clone. All right, it has completed and gives a summary. Hit next. And you can close the window. And now I'm going to shut down my computer, unplug the USB drive and unplug the 500 gigabyte drive. So I just have the one terabyte drive that I have connected and boot from it. All right, it's booted up, I'm going to log in. Open up disk management. And we see my one terabyte drive and there's the EFI partition that's been copied over my C drive and the recovery partition. And if I go to my downloads folder and we see all the files are there. 
and 488 gigabytes is unallocated. And you can right click, create a new simple volume and create another drive. Though if you try to go to the C drive and right click and try to extend volume, you see that it's grayed out. And that is because the free space is at the end of the drive here and it's not contiguous. But if you want to learn how to extend the drive, I have a video about that in the link above. So that's it. That's how you can easily clone your entire drive using the free and open source software RescueZilla. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.